I would describe these stories of the golden age as, as the classics you've always heard about, the, the things of myth and legend, the, the pulp novels, the adventures into the sky, adventures into space, adventures overseas, land, air. It's all kinds of wonderful adventure stories. Anything you can ever imagine, not only is it in the story, but it comes from real life because many of these adventures were actually had by the author, L. Ron Hubbard. So it's like the common theme that uh, struck across all of them is the reality of it, the, the, the believability of them, the action-packed adventure of them all. I would describe these stories as old school storytelling because basically you can go anywhere. Your imagination runs free. It's just not dialogue for the sake of dialogue. It's, it's really witty and it's clever and it makes you think. You can't read these kind of books without having your perception changed to some extent. You just have to use your mind to imagine what's there. It's like a movie without a screen. It just puts you in a rugged time with rugged men and rugged stories. Um, the characters are just three-dimensional and colorful. It's a world that you can get lost in. You know, the stories are so well written and so timeless, it doesn't matter what age they were written for. It's, it, they'll never go out of style. And it's like, who doesn't like a great story? I mean, who doesn't need a great story? They're all quality, you know? So it's hard to say which one do you like in particular because I like them all. My favorite story, oh gosh. Um. Can there only be one? I love Tin Horn's daughter. Danger in the dark. Reign of the Gila Monster. He didn't like cats. Under the Black Ensign. When shadows fall. Branded Outlaw. The Iron Duke. The Planet Makers. The Toughest Ranger. Tough Old Man. It takes place in the future, a very mysterious future. You have a hero who is technically the villain. Who's a rootin' tootin' six-gun shootin' crazy man. You never saw this guy. You heard him coming. He has this, this great attitude, like, you know what that means? I will rule this city. Then there's a, hey, there's a gunshot, dive left, right. How are the humans gonna get out of this one? And he comes back. He comes back from the dead. He rings for the elevator, and the elevator door opens and sees this tiny little guy there. And uh, he finds out that the girl didn't do it. And he became the hero. And says, whenever you need more, just tell me. That was my favorite part. When I finish, I just feel good. I feel like I've been entertained. It was, it was amazing about it. I was, it was an emotional roller coaster for me. And I emerged from it um, inspired, uh, but also very present. I leave the stories thinking. And I think about um, the bigger picture and what else is out there other than just the immediate experiences that I have in everyday life. It encourages people to look beyond the normal day. If you're not satisfied with something, move on, go forward, try something different. If you're not happy with what you're doing, there's always something else. The sky's the limit of what you can do, anything. And L. Ron Hubbard proved this. Golly, tremendous man. He was an adventurer at a time when adventurers were rare, and he wrote these magnificent stories that let your imagination run away with you. He could bridge the gap between his life experience, his writings, his imagination, and get it down on paper. And we could vicariously live in his works of fiction through his imagination. And he has a way of writing them so that you don't feel like he's teaching you anything, but you end up being taught anyway. Even though it was written years ago, you feel as if you are participating. Either the world hasn't changed as much as we think it has, or somehow Mr. Hubbard was on to something, on to the core, the basis, what people and their adventures and their aspirations are really all about. And it reminds us that we are individual human spiritual personalities who can affect the world and we must do it in the highest way in order to perfect ourselves and to advance our universe.